Hello and welcome back to GoldStockTrades.com. Today we have a new and special guest with us, Doug Diamond. Doug is president and CEO of Gatekeeper Systems. Gatekeeper can be traded as GSI on the TSX Venture or as GKPRF on the OTCQX. Thanks, Doug, for being here with us today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for, uh, thank you for bringing me on. Doug, you've been in the security business for 20 years. Talk to us about your background, what experiences you bring to the Gatekeeper story, and, and a history of Gatekeeper Systems. Sure. Well, I started in the security industry back in 1992 and uh, with a company called Silent Witness that uh, when I joined them, their stock was trading at about 15 cents. They were focused on a completely different market than the security industry, and I bought, brought a, a unique uh, product that uh, that really uh, created a record um, in, uh, of what was happening inside school buses um, uh, for transportation management. It really changed the way that uh, transportation managers managed uh, these uh, certain types of incidents uh, inside school buses, and that really that really started a new trend in the security industry for um, as we are today for integrating video with voice and GPS and mapping systems and other vehicle sensors, engine diagnostics, that sort of thing. So when I joined the company, it was trading at 15 cents. We grew it into a nice company. It ended up getting bought by Honeywell for about, uh, I believe it was around $11 a share. And uh, it was a successful story locally. But more importantly, what it did is it started to drive a new, new trends in the security industry for um, recording and dealing with problems by using technology on these vehicles. And then that is then expanded out into law enforcement vehicles, transit vehicles, and uh, transport vehicles. So Gatekeeper, uh, really that's where we cut our teeth on. You know, If you look at the history of Gatekeeper, we started in the school bus video market. We've expanded now into uh, law enforcement. Our systems are flying on the AC-130 gunships where we record um, uh, long-range sensor systems by national defense contractors. Uh, we don't manufacture the sensor system, but we, re we manufacture the, the uh, mil-spec uh, recording system and post-mission analysis software. And uh, to record again, you know, accurate uh, records of what's happening on those missions. So we've got some uh, some very reputable companies in the defense sector with the United States Air Force using our products, seeking that we're flying on the seeking helicopters in Coast Guard applications. We have we've in the past we've had um, national defense contractors that are purchased from us, Lockheed Martin, Boeing Aerospace, just to name a couple. And um, so, so really, what Gatekeeper is is we're we uh, we're a technology company that has a platform of uh, platform of technology where we can expand into different verticals. We've really, you know, we're driven with this entrepreneurial spirit where we look for trends and from which that we can rebundle our technology platform and whether it be software or hardware. And uh, and then we drive aggressively into those trends, you know. So, so case in point, uh, we've got about uh, 100,000 systems that are, uh, you know, in various makes and models over the years that are out in the uh, K to 12 market. That'd be the kindergarten to grade 12 market, which, by the way, has about 550,000 yellow school buses. That's the size of the. Uh, education market in North America, and there's about 30 to 50,000 of those yellow school buses manufactured every year. And uh, there's about 100,000 transit buses. There's about 410,000 uh, law enforcement vehicles just in the U.S. that are potential targets for us. So um, that platform that we have is uh, it's certainly applicable to uh, those applications. All right. Now, as far as our entrepreneurial spirit that we have and, and, and when we look for t trends, um, I'm really interested in, um, you know, managing the data that our devices collect. You know, so we, we've been, uh, we've had a vision of uh, kind of aligning our technology with, with, uh, with the market conditions, you know, and, and, and I say that because when you look at market conditions, you know, they can be driven by a number of things, you know, um, 
the, the, the technology really gets to a point where, um, you know, where people can afford it. Uh, or, and or, you know, you look at the events that have happened in Ferguson, Missouri, and other areas around the country, um, that is, and, and, you know, where you've got um, individuals that are being, uh, you know, they're being killed, whether where it's right or wrong, um, you know, that information then goes viral, it starts to drive uh, public awareness of a big problem. And, uh, and that can create some new trends, you know, so uh, those new trends that we, we've already, we were already engaged in, such as body cameras, um, you know, managing the video from those body cameras, um, you know, th- those are the things that Gatekeeper looks for. So if you look at our business as it is today, uh, we've got a we've got a core business where our revenue last year was a, was four million. We'll be up from that this year. Our fiscal year end is August thirty first, and we're trending quite positively, uh, you know, on the top line. Um, and uh, we've got a nice base uh, base business from which we can layer revenues on in three key areas. Number one. Um, the uh, the transition from analog cameras in our base business to high definition is just starting, right? And just like you use high definition TVs in your home, in the security industry, um, it's it's really it's it's at the front end. In the fixed site uh, business, which is building security and other fixed site applications, the high definition side of the business has really only grown from. Uh, to about 20% of the cameras in the entire uh, fixed site business has evolved to high definition. Whereas in the mobile space, which is where we reside, we estimate that less than 1% of the market has evolved to high definition. So we've just uh, we've we've introduced a new product line, um, uh, and we see big growth in as as our core business transitions from analog cameras to high definition. So that's high growth number one. Um, number two is this whole area of uh, protecting kids in and around school buses. All right, this is a new trend. It, it, you know, it's a, it, it's not a new area. There's always been a problem of kids being kids lives being at risk when they're loading and unloading a school bus and a stop arm is engaged, and uh, vehicles will run by the stop arm. It's called a stop arm violation. But because there's been over 100 children that have been killed uh, you know, over, over the last several years, new legislation has passed in various states where um, um, counties and law enforcement can use video from a school bus video system as evidence to issue a citation. Now, the average citation is anywhere from 250 to $500. Well, if you look at the number of incidents that have happened, that are projected to happen this year alone, just in the United States, which are about 13 to 15 million, you can, you can do the math and you can see that that's a potential new billion dollar market category that's going to grow. And, um, so gatekeepers, seen it. I've been in the industry long enough to to be able to see these trends evolving before they really, um, you know, take off. And we developed a unique uh, sensor system that records license plates at high speeds and installs to the side of a school bus. It also collects integrated GPS voice uh, when the stop arm was engaged. So we complete. We basically we've developed a complete e- system that that uh, records an evidence package of a stop arm violation. Then we also developed what's called TIMS, a traffic infraction management system. That software application connects to the uh, the vehicle owner database, and then we pump the evidence pack up into the cloud, connect to the vehicle database, match the license plate of the incident with the vehicle owner, and we can issue a citation. So Gatekeeper isn't just the sensor company that, uh, you know, the sensor system that installs on the outside of the school bus. We're the total end-to-end solution, right? You know, so I feel we would have a, we, we have a lot more uh, value if we're the end-to-end solution and we're not reliant on any other, you know, software application companies to provide a piece of the system. So that's big growth area number number one or number two. And then number three is this whole body camera business, but it's not just the body cameras, right? It, it's the it's the uh, it's the data where I see a lot of the value is in the data that those body cameras are collecting. So we've uh, we're in the process of launching a total end to end solution. 
and uh, which includes our back-end XVault data management system. So we can take the video from our body cameras and we can store it in our XVault back-end data management system, which allows us to add certain tags to video that allows law enforcement agencies to search for that, uh, you know, search that video at a later date. So if they have a, let's, let's say they've got a, a video that is, uh, or, or a, a segment of video that is specific to a particular crime, well, they may have to store that video for 15, 20 years if it's a homicide, um, depending on the retention policies of the law enforcement agencies um, that will dictate how long they hang on to that. They have to store the video. So our back-end XVault data management system I see as a uh, as a big a big area for growth for Gatekeeper, and it's not and, and we're not just focused on um, you know video from body cameras, all right. We've designed the system where we can actually take in cell phone video, we can take in broadcast video and CCTV video. So we see a big big opportunity in. Um, uh, in growing our business in the area of managing uh, video, managing data, so managing video with integrated, um, you know, integrated integrated metadata, and and then being able to search by time and date, incident, uh, crime, officer ID, you know, those sorts of things. Now that, in my in my view, that X Vault data management system. Um, you know, we, we're, we're certainly laser focused on the law enforcement industry today, but we see an enormous opportunity for managing data with uh, integrated with business record management system in a whole host of marketplaces. And uh, you probably have uh, read some of our press releases. Just recently, we announced a, um, um, a new partnership agreement with uh, SunGuard, which is a uh, they're a software as a service uh, business, and they're in they're, uh, they've got about 800 law enforcement um, customers, and uh, that use their dispatch software system. So, one of Gatekeeper's strategies, of course, is to integrate with their software application, giving their customers a very unique product. So. Um, uh, you know, we really see our uh, our overall uh, competitive advantage, uh, or one of them, by way of integrating with these large software application companies, creating unique products for their customers um, that are you know virtually uh, put us in a in a you know in a much stronger position to compete against uh, larger companies such as such as Taser. Doug Diamond. President and CEO of Gatekeeper Systems, which can be traded as GSI on the TSX Venture or as GKPRF on the OTCQX. Thanks so much for being here with us today and for giving us an introduction to Gatekeeper Systems. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me.